Hey guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. We're going to be discussing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer and our thoughts and opinions after getting our hands on the game and playing it for the first few days it's come out. Um, so far, I've really enjoyed it. The game does need some improvements, but the exciting thing is, is I think the development team knows that and they've been very vocal on Twitter about the fact that they are looking to improve the game and aren't just going to push the COD out and just, you know, neglect it as <clears throat> some other CODs may have done in the past. Modern Warfare, not having a ranked playlist? What are you doing, guys? It's crazy. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. Wait, Woodsy, Cold War doesn't have a ranked playlist. More on that later. We've got some, we've got some inside info. So this video is going to be a combination of the pros and cons of Cold War, what I've noticed, what I felt, what the community said on Twitter, and how everyone thinks the general direction of the game is going um we've got some tweets from the big boys uh themselves some of the no, biggest names in the game and some of the developers in the game showing us an inkling of what's to come and i think it's really encouraging that from what i've seen cold war seems to have the potential to be one of the best cods yet we'll see we'll see it's quite early so let's get right into the video you guys may have loaded up call of duty be really excited to play cold war and the first thing you noticed is wow i am getting dogged on by everybody and um yeah that might happen a little bit the first few hours of gameplay are going to be a little tough uh, especially if you were to start from now because everyone's pretty much leveled up even when i started i felt that i was a little bit of a disadvantage because a few people have been able to play before me even though i was playing you know day of launch but hey it's what it happens when you don't grind like mad the first few hours of gameplay are definitely a little bit rough uh, especially when you don't have custom classes the perks that you want the attachments that you need for your guns uh, you can notice the difference when players have those on their guns compared to the new guys who don't it definitely puts you at a strong disadvantage once you start unlocking everything in the game it does become so much easier and that seems kind of dumb to say is of course getting to a higher level means you can, i can compete but with skill-based matchmaking in this cod i feel like it is more important than ever to have everything unlocked you can always dog on people back in the old days no matter what level you were but now i think you need your guns to have certain attachments levels and whatnot to stand a chance in any cod there always tends to be some guns that are favored more than others and stand out a little bit but in this cod i think it's a much more notable than in any other Specifically speaking, the MP5, the M16, and the AUG are pretty OP. I have been getting dogged on by them a lot. It's not a lot of fun, especially getting one burst by these guns, but, you know, it makes it hard for the ARs to compete. The XM4 itself, maybe the AK-47, and maybe the FFAR are the closest, but the rest of the assault rifle category just gets blown out of the water by the M16 and the AUG, and it means people are just going to be running these guns non-stop. So from this tweet from Tony Flame, one of the developers of this Call of Duty, he says there will be weapon score streaks and more balance changes coming in with Season 1. We'll get onto the score streaks later on, but he says that there's trends and analytics of which guns are being used, and I feel like the M16, the AUG, and the MP5 are the guns we can expect to see considerable nerfs or nerfs of some sort, and therefore this enables the more of the gun pool to become usable in multiplayer. And even if they want to do anything to us skill-based matchmaking, then maybe we will stand a chance with those guns. So that is something to expect. Maybe work on not just leveling up those guns, but maybe some other ones as well that are less likely to get nerfed, that seem confident. Maybe that XM4, maybe the FFAR. I've been enjoying that gun a little bit lately, but we'll see. We'll see. Shotguns are also a little bit OP. The fact that I can run an MP5 and a shotgun and have no overkill penalty so I don't lose my second perk, I think that's a bit too much to be honest if i was to run the mp5 and the shotgun or the sniper in the shotgun and the sh i had to run overkill therefore the shotgun was a primary uh, that that makes sense because for me the shotgun the power of it op how fast the gallow shoots specifically i think it should maybe be a primary that's just my opinion either that or the guns need to have some nerfs to them i think that's one of the issues that the cod developers need to have a look at and maybe consider for balancing out the game Coming into the start of Call of Duty, just before the game went live, we knew there were eight maps on release. Not everyone may have known, but they announced that there was only eight maps. Nuketown is meant to be coming soon. Ah, oh, yay. Another Nuketown map. I am so excited. If you can't tell, I'm being very sarcastic. Um, I think Nuketown's been overdone. I would love to see maps like Raid, Firing Range, Standoff, Comeback. I wouldn't mind that one bit if that means that the penalty of that was this card launching with only eight maps. The amount of playable maps on this card is quite low 
in terms of the ones that you see in the lobby and you're like man i really want to play this map like how the the rush you used to get when terminal came up in modern warfare 2 for for me i definitely noticed that miami and satellite are two of the least favored maps by the community i don't mind these maps too much i just tend to snipe and just not pay attention to the objective because i'm like damn it you guys made me play this map i'm just gonna snipe but the community itself doesn't like these maps i think standoff is a little bit rough too especially when all, the plane tends to be the focus of all sites and people just camp in the playing the shotguns you know it's it's not the best experience getting shotgun in the face by geezer sat on a table around a corner but hey it is what it is hopefully there are more maps coming in the works that can sort of widen out the map pool and give us more to look forward to at the moment there's only really four five at a push good maps and half of the map pool being playable isn't maybe the best thing now i will hold my hands up here i know my beta vid i said crossroads was the worst map ever and whoever designed it i didn't like them very much but what they did with the regular online multiplayer is they brought in a smaller version of the crossroads map and my god i have so much fun playing them snd on that map is a blast there's nothing better than running around with a sniper and shotgun and just you know owning kids but it just goes to show you never speak too soon that map was a lot of fun to play on now in my beta video i mentioned the stims and stuns pretty much dominate this call of duty i didn't really see anything else getting used i will say notably playing it now smokes are getting used a little bit more specifically in s d those sorts of those sorts of game modes i blame valorant people have been you know playing that and using smokes there so they bring this the, sno uh, the smokes into s d but they smokes now seem to run for a serious long time i'm not sure if it's 45 seconds or i mean i don't know the full ins and outs but it felt like a long while in the round so they are trying to make smokes useful but that being said it is mainly a stuns and stims cod uh the stuns are just mad the fact that i can be aiming down sights at someone shooting i get stunned i can still see them on my screen but i can no longer ads puts me at a huge disadvantage and results in me losing many gunfights when i get stunned the stims you know stims are stims the regen is cool whilst you're using them it can be annoying to keep fighting people and they keep getting their health back but hey ho that's the way it is just kill them quicker forehead so i really think it's it's literally my choice when making the classes do i want stuns or do i want stims which is a good problem to have i suppose but i just hate getting stunned man just please stop making me un ads whilst i'm fighting people it's really off-putting now it's time to get into the exciting stuff after last year ranked playlists didn't come into modern warfare and everyone that i know was a little bit annoyed about this how can you have a call of duty that incorporates skill-based matchmaking into casuals you have the skill-based matchmaking but you just don't incorporate it in rank play and i'm not the only one who shares this sentiment optic scump man that feels good to say posted a tweet and he says how does call of duty not get released with the rank playlist every year i'm genuinely just confused it should be a staple but it gets ignored interesting to think about a generic complaining tweet just about ranked play not being there but what's interesting is david von der Haar actually replied to the tweet if you don't know who david von der Haar is click off this video now you don't belong here so david von der Haar actually replied to skump's tweet and tried to put him in his place a little bit but also said hey my crew will deliver we are on your side be good to us pretty much say more or less don't worry skump we're working on ranked it's not coming just yet but it'll be here soon that's what i take away from it at least and as scump says in vondi we trust because this also brings me to my next point skill-based matchmaking is mad in this cod woodsy are you sure you don't suck listen i've got a 1.2 kd all right listen i'm not great i'm not great i know that but if you check out our boy's census tweet no pro on his friends list has a 2 kd which for me is just mind-blowing how the call of duty pros who are competing in these events don't have a 2kd because they are struck not struggling necessarily but they have to sweat if they want to compete in their skill-based matchmaking they can't just relax and play and just you know these guys, these guys are the best of the best of the game they are gonna get the big kds it's simple as and they can't just relax play some casual playlists and you know just fry so these are just my initial thoughts after playing call of duty for the opening weekend of it and a little bit after that i've really enjoyed playing it it's been a lot of fun i was meant to stream like four hours yesterday i ended up streaming about nine because i was just having so much fun playing cold or i didn't want to get off which i haven't felt in ages and it is really good to be feeling that so i think some of the negatives that the community have been screaming about on twitter are being heard they're not falling on deaf ears per se and that the studio will work to develop the game and fix these imbalance issues obviously some of the issues they're going to be like with the stuns adsing for example they may be like well that just makes you gives you an opportunity cost of using stuns against stims and therefore you've got to make that decision and i'm just like no 
don't make me pick it brings a variety in the gameplay to the to the game so they may not necessarily want to take that away but other things like the gun imbalance mainly just picking the m16 the org and the mp5 they're going to be like ah no we need to fix this so let's see what they do i'm excited to see what happens but i've really been enjoying this cod uh, obviously we've got warzone coming out in a few weeks that's going to be an exciting time too once warzone makes the transition over i expect that warzone itself will implement cold war guns and that's why they've separated the loadouts in modern warfare from warzone you now have two separate custom class slots and everyone's like oh wow they've done that to be cool no what they're going to do is they're going to kick all the modern warfare guns out of warzone and they're just going to give you cold war guns so anyone who hasn't bought cold war you're probably gonna have to level up the guns on cold war why because that's the big business decision that's the big brain moves that makes sure as many people as possible buy cold war to level up their guns so us grinders out here are playing cold war right now we're just being smart and getting our guns up for warzone so come join us That'll bring us to the end of the video, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Leave a subscribe to the channel. It would mean ever so much to me. Also, check out the podcast that I do with Gay Barbosa, Beers and Beans, down below. We've already spoken about Cold War and Warzone in depth there and various different things that go on in the world of streaming. Make sure you don't miss the latest episode out every Wednesday at 7.45 Pacific time. If you want to catch just me, I always stream on twitch.tv forward slash xwoodsy. I'm live like five days a week. My schedule will be down below and on my Twitch page. It'll be a pleasure to see you guys there whilst we're playing some Cold War. And um, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and take it easy. Goodbye.